Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. Happy Easter to all my Pisceans out there. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody. It can't. It's not a personal reading. It is general. So if you're interested in a personal reading and you want it to be more specific to you, then the link is in the description box below. Make sure that you use that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if I do one for you, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. All right, so your overall energy, <clears throat> Pisces, is the two of wands. Your challenge is the Four of Cups. Okay, and, and they just said to see the possibilities with the Four of Cups. That's your challenge. So, Eight of Wands here. The High Priestess. Six of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. So your overall energy with the Two of Wands, Pisces. You're trying to be optimistic. Some of you may be moving. Physically moving. You could just be moving forward or trying to move forward and leave the past behind you. Now, there is communication coming in. Okay. You may keep this secret if it is a love. Could be a past love with the Six of Cups here. But it's definitely making you happy. Now, it's interesting that the Four of Cups is showing up as your challenge because what's coming in, I feel you see it. So what are you missing here? That'll be interesting to find out. I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with love, but I don't know. Maybe there's more than one person here. But it's certainly something that you're not looking at. If you see the panda, the cup which is essentially the Ace of Cups. The universe trying to give you an Ace of Cups is right behind you. So maybe maybe it is somebody else. Maybe it's a new person that you're not seeing because an old person is coming in. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Spirit of Cups. What else? The Three of Cups, yeah, Reunion. Also dating, rejoicing, celebrating, Heart of Cups. Well, your heart is open. I do have to say that. Your heart is open. There is an optimistic attitude here. So I'm not quite sure why the Four of Cups is here, but let's see. Yep, you're going to be receiving a love message here with message from this person of the past. Tell me about the Four of Cups. What are you not seeing? Oh, a tower. Is Spirit going to force you to see this? Let me see. The Five of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Spirit's trying to change your circumstances. And I feel this is a new love coming in that Spirit's trying to give you and gift you with. To change your world here with the Wheel of Fortune, but there's this Five of Cups energy from the past that you're stuck on, and I feel you're stuck here, or you will be stuck there, because of this person coming back. Hmm. Let me get a kipper here. So that's your challenge, to see this opportunity that's new, that's fresh for you, a new love. To marriage that could lead to marriage here it could be long-term commitment living together but it's manifestation of a union but you're not looking at it because you're looking at the past tell me about the eight of wands we have the lovers that's a choice 
So maybe you will see it. The spirit may force you to see it with the tower. Thus, you're going to have to make a choice here. Let's see. The Eight of Swords, yeah. So you're going to be all up in your head about this. And death. So you don't know whether to revive this old love or to take a chance on this new love. I'm curious to see who the new love is. Pisces. All right. Ooh, thief. You have trust issues, so you're not sure what to do. But these trust issues are from the past. Occupation. Uh, you. It's either you work with the person from the past or you work with the person from the present. Or you meet them through work. I am feeling a lot of you, some of you work with this new person. Maybe that's what you're not seeing. That's what you're not noticing there. Tell me about the high priestess. The universe. The movement of pentacles. Hmm. Ah, and the devil. So I feel you're going to be very tempted to go back to this past person out of codependency here. So you're going to take your time at making this decision because this is important. It's a new beginning. And I'm not sure if you're keeping each of these relationships secret from the other. You're keeping it secret from somebody. You may have told one person, but hmm, high honor. All right, this is part of your goal, maintaining your vibration. So this is going to be one of the things you're looking at within these people. Are they matching your vibration? Right? I feel that's important. The spiritual aspect is going to be important to you. Where they are at, spiritually speaking. Not that they have to be, you know, where you are. We're never at the same place. Okay, Six of Cups, what is this? The Heart of Wands. What else? Six of Cups for Pisces. The Two of Swords. Yeah, see that's stuck in the Naked Heart. Yep. So you're going to be reminiscing about the past. You're thinking about this past love that comes back. You're, you're wanting to be vulnerable, but you feel stuck. So you're blocking this vulnerability because of this decision. You're trying to open up your heart. I do see that. But as long as you're, you're keeping yourself stuck, main female, this could have to do with the feminine energy. Or this could be you trying to connect with your feminine energy. Unexpected income. Okay, if you connect with your feminine energy, whether you're male or female, okay, your intuitive side, it's going to open up other areas of your life. Specifically, career. Hmm. That's where this heart of wands comes in. All right, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Whoa, Two of Pentacles, yeah, the star. Juggling two, you're, you're gonna have to make this decision and the chariot, and that's funny, it's a two-headed horse. So this is going to be up to you. Who's it gonna be? Who is? <laughs> well, the real lover, please stand up, right? Who is your ultimate happiness? Who is your wish fulfillment? Have you healed over the past? Can you accept transforming this old relationship and trust it? Because there is trust trust issues here. Let me get the past person's um, intention. This past person for uh, Pisces. Did I call you Aquarius earlier? I know it's Pisces. 
sorry temperance okay they want to find peace they want to find balance here they want to find that peace amidst the chaos they want to express feelings so i i feel a, a sweetness to this offer a very sweet offer from the past what about the present uh, that that's hysterical justice balance again Wow, Earth Mother. Wow, Three of Swords. Their intention, yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel their intention is to assist you in some sort of healing here. But their intention is also to show you they see your worth with Earth Mother. That is the Empress energy. They want you to be clear. This person is going to be very clear, very forward, um, forward with their intentions, forward with their communication, what they feel about you, what they want. And I do feel they ultimately see you as married. This is what they want. But they also understand Maybe they're the ones that know about the past person. I don't know that there's healing here or they just feel it. So again, this is going to be up to you. You know, I don't see any ill intentions on either side. So it really comes down to you. You've got to get out of a lack mentality here. Yeah. In order to see your path clearly. And this is what they also see within you with the poverty and pathway that this lack mentality, feeling like you're missing something is blocking your path, blocking your view, which is keeping you stuck in this two of swords energy, right? It's like keeping you blinded. It's keeping your heart chakra blocked. So they're wanting, I feel this wanting to assist you in that they don't want to they know they can't do it for you, but they do want to assist you. All right, advice. What's your advice for Pisces? Ah. Your advice. Spirit of Swords. What else? All right. They're saying you got to listen to your higher calling. So listen to your higher self here. Nine of Wands. Bring down your walls a little because that is the wounded warrior. Nine of Pentacles. And, you know, know your worth. You know, it's like shine like a diamond. That's what I'm feeling here. Be confident in who you are, right? Because you're confident. You look great. You stand tall here. You're very balanced. So they want you to stand in your power, okay? Interesting because this is pre-Empress energy, and that's how this new person sees you. And this is what they'll, they'll, they'll show. They're going to put you on a pedestal, this new person, because that's how they see you. All right, let's get a kipper. Then we're going to get some divine dog wisdom. Yeah. So this is about the next leg of your journey here. So what do you, what do you want it to look like? What do you want it to feel like? Who do you want to be with? It's up to you, Pisces. Excellence. Do your best. And let's get one more. Expression. Speak your truth. Okay, whether that be to yourself, whether that be to others, these, you know, the past and the present, speak your truth. All right, Pisces, I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Pisces. If you are interested, as there are scammers about the community, and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, 
as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste Pisces.